Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to remove an item from an array. Uh, time to practice removing items from an array. The spread operator can be used here as well. Other useful JavaScript methods include slice and concat. Uh, the reducer and action creator were modified to remove an item from an array based on the index of the item. Finish writing the reducer so a new state array is returned with the item at the specific index removed. Okay, cool. So the redux store should exist and initialize with a state equal to one, two, three, four, five. We want to remove the item and immutable reducer both should be functions. Remove item is a function. Immutable reducer is a function. Or so we're going to pass these first tests right away. Dispatching remove item action creator should remove items from the state and should not mutate the state. So um, yeah, here what we want to do is first create a duplicate of the state, right? So the first thing that we should do is spread this out so we can see it easier. Uh, we've got our state set to a default. We don't want to mutate this state. Uh, they give us slice and concat. So uh, let's say uh, console.log. Let's see what, what, what happens if we just console log uh, up. Okay, so it's not running. We're not going to be able to do that really easily. Um, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to open up the console, and I'm going to say, we're going to say var a is equal to this guy. Now, what we want to do is be able to pick out one of these elements and then return a copy of the element that's not that. So a dot, let's call it two, right? Slice. If we do slice zero to two, then we get an array of zero and one. And then if we go a dot slice, uh, you know, the index plus one, so instead of two, we've got three, we can pass this in. So zero, then we have zero, one, three, four, five, which means we're skipping the two which is the index that we want to skip. So if we're passing in index, which is here, we're passing in the index, and the action dot index is equal to the index that we're passing in. So let's say that that's two for now. If we did a dot slice here, so um, we could say state dot slice zero uh, action dot index. Um, we could call this one uh, let a equal and then uh, b, we could say dot slice action dot index plus one. So that's how we get, we went from this two and then we're getting three. So if the index were two, it would work here. If it were three, it would be three here and then it would be four here. Um, and then what we need to do is just add these together. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna come down here. I got the a dot slice here. So let's call this one, um, Oh, I shouldn't have used A there, but ver um, first. This is our first copy, and ver, oh, and then let's get the one where we uh, did it on the third element, so A dot slice three, and then ver second. And now if, uh, so we've got first, and we've got second, and these are both uh, arrays, so zero, one, three, four, five. So what we want to do is say first dot concat, and then second. And then we get zero, one, three, four, five. So we've eliminated that. And th so that's what we want to do here. So we want to return a dot concat b. And uh, I think if we were to run the test, this would pass. So yeah, this is just one of many ways to do this, right? Um, let's see. Instead of uh, assigning them to variables, we could just make this a. And then we can say concat b, which would just be add this guy in here. And so then we don't need all this variable assignment. And I'm pretty sure this would run as well, even though it's kind of ugly. A uh, way that you can kind of clean these up is you can put the periods uh, afterwards. If you go state.slice and then you line up the periods so it's easy to read that they're on the same line. That can kind of clean up this uh, long chaining of events. Um, slice and concat, yeah. There's probably other ways to do it, but uh, I'm not really going to go into that. A lot of this sort of uh, tricky array manipulation stuff it, is covered in previous exercises. I don't know that it makes a lot of sense here, but the thing to, that, to note about immutability is that when you do the dot slice, it doesn't affect the original state array. So you don't need to make duplicate uh, duplicates of it because slice just um, 
I guess it makes a copy of it similar to the way that the spread operator does. Uh, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.